It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And we've got Bobby Okereke. We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, week 12 of the NFL season is upon us, and we've got a good one in store, as it will be the New England Patriots taking on the New York Giants. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, they come in off the extended break from the bye. I think it was much needed as well. You play two, two and a half months, you're ready for some time off to get set for the home stretch. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. So here come the Patriots getting ready on offense. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. You talk about the pause that refreshes. I think it's come at a perfect time of the year for them, hasn't it? You know, they, the season is starting to wind down, got a little bit of a break. But how about the guy calling the signals? He's got to be excited about that because now he didn't just get a game plan for one week. He was able to work on it for two weeks. I can't wait to see if they have anything special in, in store for him today. They're rolling, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Carlos Dunlap in there for the sack, and it's an important one from a personal standpoint as that is sack number 100 in what has certainly been a terrific career to this point. Here's Christian McCaffrey. His pops was a giant for three years, pushing through the contact. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Anyone thought we'd see a run facing second in that long and that element of surprise? I think helped make that play so successful. Nice effort on that carry, and it took what seemed like second and impossible. Now has him within throwing range of a first down. And a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. That's the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. They're going to try and throw. Flush to his right. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so, they're going to be diligent about throwing the flag. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Holding offense. Left tackle Eric Fisher, the former Kansas City Chief, the guilty party. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. They'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Well, CD, you see some of the injuries that have popped up for this franchise and obviously hoping to get these guys back sooner rather than later. Yeah, and these guys, they've been hearing the mantra next man up since their Friday night light games in high school. It's three simple words, but they're absolutely perfect. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Debo Samuel, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Patriots will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Charles, every time that he makes... And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. 
How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And the Giants ready to go now on offense, and under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. And you and I both know that any win is a good win, and that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an interception. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. But you look at this Patriots defense. They're currently sixth in the NFL in defending the run. This is a unit that understands what needs to be done to stop the run. And they're a team that goes out and executes as well. He yeah, adds the mantra, stop it, but then going out and getting it done. Two different things. They combine them. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Absolutely nowhere to go with the football. And he's just going to put this one in the Hudson River. Maybe he's a little fortunate he didn't get called for grounding because that one was well over everyone's head. Now Jones steps away to his left. Jones hit, and the ball's out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. And we know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side, a little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now, because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. Now a throw out to his fullback is complete. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down in the yard. Handoff left, McCaffrey. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Looking to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now brings up fourth down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Giants are going to get the football back. The Giants offense at the line. And the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And while all of that was going on, we have an injured player out there in need of some attention. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. This defense for the Patriots, very strong in that victory a week ago. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. Now Locke, he lost the football, it's out. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. They were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. And New York set to take the field. 
Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now, a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. Here's Locke. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. Crucial foul, roughing the passer, defense. So certainly a defensive mistake here in the first quarter, getting hit with a roughing the passer call. And that hurts not just because of the yardage you gave up and give them a fresh set of downs, but that brought the home crowd into this one. And when you go on the road, your job is to silence the crowd, not energize them. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and say it, partner. There's no intent here because Von Miller, former NFL Man of the Year Award winner, he likes to play the game the right way. But in this case, makes a mistake and gets in just a little bit too late, and that draws the penalty. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. A give up the middle to Singletary. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Well, they'll come up second and seven. Now Locke. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Block now to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Rocky started throwing the football. He's missed now on his first four attempts. Eager to see what his demeanor is going to be. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up. A live ball here, remember. Got to say, Charles, a little surprising to have a kick this short blocked. Usually that happens on the longer ones, but great job by the special teams to kind of sift through there and get a hand on it. Yeah, you've seen a lot of football over time, partner, and you're right about it. Typically, the longer field goals start lower because they have so much more ground to cover to get to the post. And that's when you get a hand on it. These short ones, you're able to pop it up in the air pretty quickly. Normally, you get height. In this case, extra effort to block that one. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. You talk about this giant defense. They come into this one in the bottom half of the NFL against the run, number 19 overall. One thing you do know, you know they'll be fired up because they're facing a top five rushing attack. And even if they have early success against them, they got to remember, they got to sustain it because teams that are top five, they don't stop running the ball if they don't get things done early. So a roughing the passer penalty there, CD. And we know that these pass rushers love to get after rookie quarterbacks, but they've still got to do it within the scope of the rules. And that time, the hit came just a little bit too late. And the official won't even think twice about pulling his flag on that one. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give him the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing early in this game. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. 
McCaffrey running up the middle. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. He'll look to throw. A short one here caught by McBride. Now, coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. The Patriots at 9-1 on the year. And they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. In fact, when they looked at the schedule to start the season, I think they liked where their open week fell. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Back to throw. Flushed out right. He'll find Metcalf. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. So roughing the passer there, a big mistake defensively. Yeah, and even though you've got a quarterback out of the pocket and the rules change downfield, that doesn't mean the same rules don't apply with the QB. Anything more than one step, they're going to throw a flag on you every time. In motion right, that's Claypool. McCaffrey following the penalty. Now he keeps fighting his way into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Pats take the block field goal and convert it into six points. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner, they can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. No gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten. At the 25 yard line. To throw it is lock. Right side complete. That's Woods. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. New England on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. They look to throw. It's lock. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield. Wiggles free. A 45-yard punt for there on the return. And the Patriots take over. New England trotting into place on offense. And you figure this should be a healthy, arrested, a focused unit. And they're working on a good winning streak. They had the week off last week. This is really a team, Charles, that should be in top four. I would agree absolutely with that. What coaches worry about, what organizations worry about, though, 
is overconfidence. They've been playing so well, and now they've had that extra time off. And we've seen teams come back off the open week and come out flat. So what a lot of good coaches do is they kind of game plan for that with their teams on defense. They may blitz more in the beginning to get them going. On offense, they may go more up-tempo. Anything to get them out of that lethargy right at the beginning. Escaping the pressure right. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. On the set. Up the gut, McCaffrey able to power through. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Here's a diving catch right side. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know that rookie quarterbacks have to earn veteran receivers' trust. Maybe we saw that on that play with that type of effort, huh? Yeah, helping out the rook with a heck of a catch. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That play was all Bobby Okereke as he got there and dragged him down for the loss. Here we go on second and 12. Buying time to his left. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 27-yard line. They'll set up a throw. Completion here to Claypool. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up second down. Brings up second and seven at the 24 yard line. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense. Yeah, no question. He got to the QB late CD, and that's going to get a flag every time. Every single time. Because let's face it, the league is always going to have an emphasis on these calls. They want to take care of these quarterbacks. So they hit pay dirt, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Extra point by Rylan, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now out come the Giants. But Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Back to the air on second down. It's locked. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Locked in completions on first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. On third down, they're going to go with the option. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. The keeper good for only four, and that's going to lead to a fourth down. On to punt, Jamie Gillen. This first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. 47 yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. 
Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. They'll throw now on the final play. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Now, you don't want to see that penalty at any point, but it adds a little extra to it when it comes on third down. It certainly does, because if this were a boxing match, they had him on the ropes there. Third down incompletion, fourth down upcoming. Instead, that mistake resets everything back to first down, which means they have to stay on the field longer to try and stop this drive. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field incomplete. Past the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip. The third quarter starts with a run by Singletary. Yeah, he did a nice job to spin out of that first wave, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they've stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. We've got an injured player, and that's running back Devin Singletary, who's in some discomfort. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Throwing on first down is Locke. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Well, they certainly aren't letting up today, partner, because they forced big turnovers already. And it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. Locks throw complete there to Thomas. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Lock looks to throw it again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. Now a second and 10. Hand off now, it's Gray with it. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. Here's Locke to throw. And that is incomplete. And the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top-10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. Well, it's hard to imagine the first half going any better for them, CD. And now here as they begin their first series of the second half, I mean, they score here. This one, it's pretty much out of reach. We honestly might already be at that point, partner, because this team, they were dominant in the first half, continue to be dominant now. And I think they're viewing this as a put-away drive on their way to a lopsided victory. 
Well, that flag puts them on their heels a little bit more defensively as the officials walk it upfield. Yeah, and they can blame the officials all they want, but bottom line, it's their own fault because, to me, that was an avoidable call. Stay focused and avoid major mistakes like that. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Foul. Now, let's see who this is on. Defense. So the incomplete pass here, but the roughing the passer call bails them out. Which means you have to stay on the field on defense longer because you've given the offense free snaps, not to mention the free yardage after that mistake. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Eluding the pressure right. Shakes off the sack. But now he's swallowed up and taken down. Dexter Lawrence in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. The Woods will go in motion right. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. On play action, lock. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and it's picked up by the Patriots. And they're already in the red zone. The 18-yard line is where they take over. A defensive-minded coach loves to bring the heat, brought the heat there, and it worked out. And nowadays, all those defensive-minded coaches, for them, it's all about getting the football. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. At three touchdown passes, you're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look reviewed. at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. Ryland on for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And New York set to take the field. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles. But I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. So the completion results there in nine yards. And this will wind up being a third and three. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Now Locke, he lost the football, it's out. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. 
Now he dumps this off over the middle and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Back to throw here. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Deontay Banks on the coverage. Give running left, it's McCaffrey. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. I thought that was a completed pass until he came in and forced the ball from his hands. Not only did he make a nice play, he brings up fourth down. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And all oh, the gamble fails. It's incomplete. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Giants are going to get the football back. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets All tough started. in here. What's the deal, y'all? So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. They run again here with Gray. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. They got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Here's Locke. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Nothing with passer defense. Well, that frustration, Charles, it's been building on the defensive side of the ball, and unfortunately there, it turns into a roughing the passer penalty. Yeah, and they should be frustrated because he's picked them apart the entire game, but it's got to come out in a different way. You can't hit him illegally. Stop him downfield the way you're supposed to. Justin Jones there on the stop. Second and seven. On the ground, it's Gray. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Throwing now is Locke. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And while all of that was going on, we have an injured player out there in need of some attention. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Here we go, here we go. Now Locke, got to have this one. No, oh, and that is incomplete. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Flushed out right. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. 
And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Personal foul, roughing the passer defense. Well, trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that personal foul, that only adds to the hole that they're currently standing in. Yeah, absolutely a bad job of just losing your cool and letting your anger... And he keeps fighting his way into the end zone for a Patriot touch. to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll give it up to McCaffrey to about the 26 here. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Take a knee as the clock runs under a minute to play. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. They'll look to throw here, escaping the pressure right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Looks like the offense is going to take another shot here. They're going on fourth and 13. They'll set up to throw. It's complete, swings it out to his running back. And he's going to be out of bounds, a few yards shy of the line to gain. And that's going to be a turnover on downs. One final try for Locke. And this is dropped and incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is gone as time has run out on this ball game. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession.